when you're going to start MIG welding or TIG welding, one of those things that I am always forgetting is the first time I go to pick up my MIG welder, you know, pick up my gun and get to work, I forget to bleed the gas. Why is that important? Let me show you. So I got out the AHP Alpha MIG 250. It's got a nice long MIG cable on it. And I want to show you guys what happens when you don't bleed the gun. So the machine is cold, has not been turned on today. So I'm just going to put my gear on, we'll fire it up, and I'll come right over here and try to run a bead, and I'll show you what happens. So I've got the AHP Alpha MIG 250 fired up. It's at 23 and a half volts and 370 inches a minute. And I've got some eighth inch mild steel plate that I got from out back, ground down the edges real nice, clamped it all down. And I want you guys to come and watch right over here where I'm going to start welding and come this way towards me and see if you can see where the weld goes from how, how the heck did that happen to looking pretty good. Did you hear the difference? I know I could, I could hear it real, real plain. And just look at the beginning of the weld right here. See the little porosity right there? And that's because I didn't bleed the gas. You gotta get the gas all the way from the bottle through the machine, all the way up through that cable, right to the end of the cable, you know, right to the end of the gun. So when you pull the trigger, bam, that gas is right there for you. Now, AHP did a little trick on this machine. They actually programmed in a little pre-float for the MIG to try to stop that problem. So it works for pretty darn well, actually. If I'd gotten out one of the older MIG machines that does not have that pre-flow, you'd see a big old blob of porosity right there, and then all of a sudden the weld would pick up and be going good. And this is really helpful also with uh, TIG. You know, it's imperative, really, with TIG. You've got to have that little bit of pre-flow there. Help flush the line, get your inert gas down there so it can do its job, so the welder can do its job, and everything comes out looking nice. So MIG, TIG, either one. A little bit of pre-flow. If you don't have a preset like this machine does, you just bump the trigger for a second. That'll help get all the gas going. You know, your TIG welding, just stomp that foot pedal for a second. Get it all, get all the gas flowing. Or, do your pre-flow, set your pre-flow up on your machine. I like mine at about a half to three quarters of a second. That helps just flush everything out, get you, you know, good and ready to weld. So that's just a friendly little reminder for you. You know, guys who are so used to welding, they don't even think about it, or the brand new welders. It's an important thing you have to do. Helps you get good welds and helps you get work done. And speaking of that, I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. You guys are gonna hit that subscribe button for me and I'll see y'all next time. So I hope that shows you the importance of passing gas both before and after you do something.